Good morning, everybody. E-learning day number seven, March 25th. Happy Feast of the Annunciation of the Blessed Mother uh, by the angel Gabriel. And this is when we celebrate the incarnation of our Lord. So I hope everybody has a fantastic feast day. Actually, it's a solemnity. Also, as a reminder, if you are giving up stuff for Lent, uh, this is, since it is a solemnity and it falls within Lent, you are allowed to take a break from your Lenten penances. So if you've given up mm, coffee, chocolate, or something else, today is a day you can celebrate and break that feast, or I'm sorry, break that fast if you want to. Okay, I hope you're going to have a super high or great a good day. Number one, please do the attendance survey. Two, listen to this video. You already are. Uh, three, here is something I really want to spend a couple minutes on. Uh, I think it's bringing some frustration to you dear students over there in cyber world from home or, you know, trying to learn from home. Um, please, please, please use the discussion board in office hours to ask questions uh, if you email me, I'm going to be directing you to the discussion board. Uh, please, please, please do not be offended by this. I'm not trying to offend anybody or seem curt or whatever. I just trying, really trying hard to get everybody to use the discussion board. And here's why. Yesterday, I was trying to communicate with just a handful of students about making up a test. One for the first test and then several for the second test. It became an extremely difficult task. Uh, communication did not go very smoothly. Um, I'm sure the students on the other end of this were feeling the same way. I finally figured out why it didn't go very well. Okay, last night, <laughs> I received emails from a couple of these students that were sent by them seven hours earlier. I did not get them until seven hours later. So for example, one of the students wanted to make up their test at noon yesterday. They, I'm sure it was crazy that they said that long before noon, but I did not get it until seven hours later. So I got that last night. Uh, it happened a number of other times. I would email out somebody, are you ready? And then the, you know, ready for the test and their response came hours later. And then I would have in between sent another email saying, do you want to take the test or, or something I, it back and forth. And the emails were not being um, delivered timely. And there was just a lot of confusion. Uh, so I was getting emails from students, for example, telling me they are, re are ready to take the test hours after they have completed it. So the long and the short of it was that I was bouncing around answering emails from Canvas and Gmail and items on the discussion board and wondering why these students were not answering me back. So in reality, they were answering me back by email, but I wasn't getting the emails. So I'm thinking the people that I was emailing probably weren't getting the emails either or getting them out of order. <laughs> it's crazy. So at least this is what was happening on my end. So to avoid this problem, please communicate with me only on the discussion board. Unless it is a private matter, it has nothing to do with homework, ed puzzles, tests, and the like, or you are responding to an email I initiated to you um, for some reason. Okay. I think this will reduce your frustration of not getting a prompt answer from me and I from you. So I will direct all emails to the discussion board. So please start there and end there. Thank you for your kind patience. And please, 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 please do not take offense. I'm just trying to uh, help us to communicate more smoothly. And it looks like to me that, you know, while our internet and cyber world is amazing, there's an overuse of it. Although I don't understand all of the bandwidth stuff and it, we're just having delays and to try to mitigate or avoid or try to hmm, focus our efforts and, and to avoid these kind of delays in communication. Let's just stick with the discussion board, please. Okay. 
Uh, number four, please work through the lesson five principles of democracy PowerPoint on your own before you listen to the answers to the lesson five ed puzzle today. Uh, if you try to work through the questions, you're going to do a lot better in understanding it when I go over it um, and be better prepared for tomorrow's assessment. By the way, I put this ed puzzle together uh, when I was... Uh, out last trimester uh, with my son uh, in the hospital and I put it together on the fly and it is the answers to this uh, lesson five ed puzzle PowerPoint I want to apologize for the random comments um, that you're going to hear and references to my son's situation and my conversation with last trimester's government classes please ignore this I apologize I did not get a chance to re-record the answers to this ed puzzle. So please hang in there with me on this one. Ed puzzles due tomorrow morning at 7. Okay, I put up a study guide for lesson 5 for our assessment. 6, uh, there's going to be a quiz on the principles tomorrow uh, or an assessment or whatever you want to call it. Uh, this is required. Okay, so which means it is mandatory. If you do not attend, you get an unexcused absence, and you don't want to accumulate those unexcused absences. Um, please plan to attend and take the assessment. I want to do it on Thursday because you're going to go on vacation for a couple of weeks, and it's just easier to take care of business before we, we depart for spring break. The quiz might take you a little longer, and a it might be a little bit harder then the first two, uh, I was looking at the moderation of the quiz from last time, and people do, uh, did it so quickly, so quickly. Um, one person had, I think, six minutes, and I mean, th th seven minutes, t 12 minutes, 19 minutes. I mean, it was just done very quickly. This one might take a smidge longer. Uh, this quiz uh, is open out. Uh, feel free to use your notes, uh, but uh, it may have some short answers. I haven't really put it together yet, but I will. So please study in preparation. Uh, period one, two, and three, your times are listed right there. Number seven, deadline. If you have a test or quiz to make up, please do it before break. Okay, anyone who still needs to make up a test, do it today. Okay, let's just get it done today. Uh, contact me if, if this is possible. I mean, if this is totally impossible, that's fine. But I'd really like to get it done today. Uh, contact me on the discussion board and tell me what time you want to take the test. I will try to accommodate your schedule. Okay? Uh, do not email me. Please do not email me. If you email me, I'm going to think you did not listen to this uh, or read this, the assignment. So please do not email me. Thank you. Uh, that's where we got into the big loop yesterday with trying to get the time set up to actually take the test. Okay, if you do not in contact me earlier in the day on the discussion board as to what time you actually want to take the test, please plan to take the test at 4 today. Uh, at 4 p.m., I will check in on the discussion board, and hopefully you will have, we will be there, and you will let me know you are ready and will and then I will open the test. Okay? Thank you for your cooperation. Okay? I have not been putting the codes uh, in the discussion board uh, because I really want you to read the instructions for the test, and those are included in these little uh, assignment ed puzzles and then in the daily ed puzzle. I'm sorry, daily assignment explanation. I just really wanted to encourage people to read the instructions so they know if they have a time limit or whatever, period. Bless you guys. Bless you, bless you, bless you, bless you. Okay, number eight. I had a few participants in Remind App OTB uh, yesterday. That would not be today. That would have been yesterday. Uh, so I will not be offering it again. I thank you for those that did participate, but there were so few of you. Congrats, Ava Supernaw. She earned nine points of individual OTB through the Remind App OTB extravaganza. So, again, I'm not going to offer that because people did not uh, play. So I don't want to burden anybody. Number nine, OTB 
to have tried three different ways to offer OTB. One, or A, the Google Doc conference last Friday. Since that was a re required conference, there was a pretty good turnout, although we did have quite a few absent from second period. But for the most part, it it was uh, pretty good in terms of being able to give away OTB. Uh, B, I did the discussion board for praise and thanksgiving yesterday, and I did have some uh, participants from each class, and I really, really, really enjoyed reading the praise and thanksgiving from, from everyone. Um, it was just really nice to share those sentiments and know that we are united in praise with the Lord at this hard time. You guys are awesome. I really appreciate those that actually participated in that. I did offer 10 OTB, uh, like as in the around the world sort of thing we do in class. If everybody participated, you would get 10 OTB. Uh, not every, no class had everybody participating, so I did not give the 10 OTB points out for that. Uh, so I'm not going to be doing something like that again because that OTB idea did not work either, praise God. Okay, and then C, uh, the Remind app OTB. As I mentioned above, that was uh, what I would consider um, for participation purposes, quote, unquote, a fail. Okay, so we're not going to be doing that one again. So I think the first worked the best so far, most participation. Does anybody have any ideas for opportunities or ways I can offer OTB? Uh, you guys, I uh, feel so badly that you are not able to earn OTB, period. Uh, OTB makes a huge difference on the grade at the end, and it's all about participation, period. I am open for ideas. Um, after break, I will set up a Zoom conference. I'm sure you are already used to that with other classes. Uh, I've been Zooming um, in different, uh, for department meetings and with my Kairos and in different aspects I've used Zoom and it's worked well. So I'm going to try to incorporate incorporate that in e-learning curriculum after break. Number 10, please let me know how you are doing with e-learning. Please post concerns, triumphs, joys, struggles, suggestions on the discussion board today. I so want to serve you well. I so want to be what you need during this time I don't want to overwhelm you with too much work. I don't want to underwhelm you and so that you have too much time, you know, that you're bored and not learning anything. I, I just trying, I'm just trying really hard to do the right mix. Um, I just, just want you all to be okay. Um, please look for the good because there is always good to be found. Blessings always, always come down um, when we look up to the Lord. Uh, number 11, I hope you have a blessed and holy day. Study hard. Spend some quality time with your family. Please know you're in my prayers. And then here, let's pray together. What is today? <laughs> I feel like the days just go into one into the other. Okay, today is for the prayer of St. Augustine. And it looks like, I don't know how to, wait, let me just make that smaller. Okay, there we go. So we'll pray for Wednesday. Praise be to God in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. St. Augustine's Prayer to the Holy Spirit. Breathe in me, O Holy Spirit, that my thoughts may all be holy. Act in me, O Holy Spirit, that my work too may be holy. Draw my heart, O Holy Spirit, that I love but what is holy. Strengthen me, O Holy Spirit, to defend all that is holy. Guard me then, O Holy Spirit, that I always may be holy. And then the anima Christi. Soul of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, inebriate me. Water from the side of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. O good Jesus, hear me. Within your wounds, hide me. Permit me not to be separated from you. From the wicked foe, defend me. At the hour of my death, call me and bid me come to you. That with your saints I may praise you forever and ever. Amen. And today, uh, petitions in solidarity. Um, I, I would like uh, all of us, you know, we all could just take a second and um, think of something, a petition that we have on our hearts and offer that to the Lord now.
and then I would like to offer a petition in solidarity for all for all of you in cyberland trying to e-learn. I ask God to bless you, take care of you this day. I ask you to find joy in this little time um, that you are quarantined, that the Lord may help you find joy, and that we can be joy to one another. I pray for all of the people that are serving on the front lines, those that have coronavirus, for all those that are dying from coronavirus, all those that have already died, and all those that will die today. Uh, Lord, have mercy on them. Pray for uh, the end of the coronavirus and the end of quarantine, and uh, soon, Lord, help us to get back to life soon. I pray that none of us squander the grace that we're be gi being given to spend a little more time with family and and uh, our um, and in our spiritual lives. Lord, help us grow closer to you during this time. Um, help us not to be lazy. Help us not to complain. Help us just to live in your love. We praise you. We bless you. We love you. We thank you. And the people said, Amen. Bye. See you on the discussion board.